As I was growing up, I spent a lot of time playing outside with my brother and all the other neighborhood kids. We'd skateboard, play video games, wrestle, normal kid stuff. This all changed in middle school when two of my neighbors were killed in a car accident. As I transitioned into my teenage years, I grew scared of the world. I started spending more time indoors, got interested in music, and learned how to play drums. The aggression in punk rock and heavy metal appealed to me and helped me find a new sense of strength and confidence. I joined my first band at age 13 and became addicted to the feeling of playing live and making music. Now at age 21, I'm still feeding the addiction through my newest band, Drain. For the past 10 months, this band has pretty much consumed the lives of all five of us. As we've gotten to know each other better, it's become clear that the band helps all of us keep our heads on straight through the daily stresses of life. In the genre we play, there's a lot of tough guy and macho attitudes, and that's one thing that we don't embody. We're just five goofy dudes who have never tried putting up the macho front. It's fantastic. fantastic. <laughs> this, now this right here is a you how One way, any way, you how hey, Hang on, we didn't get the insurance, so it's a hit. It's eight bucks, dude. Playing in a serious band while maintaining a job that's flexible with scheduling has been one of our biggest obstacles. Things like getting Fridays and Saturdays off for six weekends in a row are obstacles that we've been faced with in the past. We need to play these shows. Right. We can't just be like, oh, Josh has work, let's get because I might have work every fucking Saturday and she's got my balls in and vice. And, right. You know what I mean? And like, I'm just fucked. You know, unless I quit my job. Which again, I'm willing to do as long as we make kind of a more right. committed decision. It, it is what I'm doing. You know, I have a couple other jobs that I use to pay rent so I can continue doing the band. So um, that's where all of, most of my time goes to. Dude, you ruined it. Excellent. Nice life, bro. <laughs> Aside from that, the only other obstacle that we're faced with daily is ourselves. This is from the song Tension. And the line is conflicting thoughts are taking over. Kind of the idea that like, you know, when 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 shit seems to be going right. There's always this kind of negativity that tends to bombard your psyche, and I think that's maybe a reoccurring theme of ours. Maybe when are you going to get checked out? What happened? All right, well, we played Blue Lagoon two days ago in Santa yeah. Barbara last night. About two hours before we were going to head down to the Blue Lagoon show, I uh, ate shit skateboarding right uh. on my head and left side of my body, and I made a fracture my wrist, can't really move my arm up, 
And um, but you drove both ways down here anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Play the show. Drove down four hours. Play the show. We're driving back up four. And now I'm gonna go get my ass checked out. With me graduating from UCSC in June and our guitarist Josh finishing his master's program at San Jose State in May, the future of this band is up in the air. Ideally speaking, we plan on pursuing music while we're young and our bodies can handle it. We've only been around for a year or so and in that short time we've made some great connections, played countless shows in multiple cities, and are gearing up to record our first legitimate EP. With the next chapter of Drain being unwritten, the only thing that's certain is that playing music is going to be a part of our lives forever. <laughs>